Let's check out how it went down. And you might want to shield your eyes at, at some various points, but but it was a heck of a competitive game. Mark Turgeon, Brad Underwood chatting there. Anthony Cowan was fantastic. They couldn't keep him out of the paint. He got to anywhere he wanted to on the floor. He set the tone for the Terrapins. Anytime the Illini made a run, he always had an answer. And this young man was fantastic in his career high. 27 points that career high. Maryland was up 19 at the half. They built the lead up to 22. And then the Illini made a serious run. LaRon Black pulls Illinois to within 15. Michael Finky, how about Michael Finky going baseline and throwing it down? Illinois down by 11. How great has Aaron Jordan been? I mean, that's hard work in the offseason. Brad Underwood said he was the hardest worker and it's paid off for him. Three of five threes in this game. He came in shooting 67% behind the arc. Kipper Nichols hanging and hitting. Tied at 71. Mark Allstork, grad transfer, bangs the three. 17 for him. First lead of the game for the Illini. Now 75-73 game. DeMonte Williams does the one thing you cannot do. Maryland gets the ball from where he inbounded. Kevin Herter cannot hit Bruno Fernando. How about the freshman with the tip? And we go into overtime. And in the OT, Maryland down by one. Justin Jackson. Hanging in the lane and hitting. Puts the Terps up by one. He finished with 20. And more from Jordan. Strong layup, Illini back up by one. Kevin Herter answers for the Terps, puts them up by two. He finished with 17. Then it's all Stork. Look at that move. Ties it at 91. Closing seconds of the OT. Tied at 91. It is Cowan fouled by all Stork, who falls out of the game. The officials ended up putting six tenths of a second on the clock. Cowan makes the first free throw, misses the second one on purpose, and that is the game. The Terps take it 92 to 91. The winners chatting afterward with our Robbie Hummel. Anthony, uh, huge improvements. I mean, the last three games you played so well. What did, what did you really want to work on this summer as you went about working on your game? I just want to make sure I got my shot more consistent. Um, I knew a lot of teams was going to work on the look up the drive for me, so I just wanted to make sure I was going to be able to I was be able to knock down open shots for my team, and uh, I think I did that today. Justin Jackson has struggled a little bit this season. Did you make an effort maybe today to, to get him going by finding him on some of those backdoor cuts? Um, yeah, kind of. Um, but I always got the most confidence in Justin. I think he's one of the best players in the country. Um, I knew he was going to bounce back regardless of, of what was going on, and um, I think he had a really good, strong, really strong game today, and um, it, led, it led us a lot. Anthony Cowan, the last three games on a bit of a tear. I mean, what do you have to say about your sophomore point guard? Well, he, he's really improved from last year. If you watch film from a year ago today to, to where he is now, it's, it's great to see. You know, they don't let you run anything, and we just tried to space it and let Anthony go, and they did a better job on him in the second half. I don't think I subbed him out. I think he went 38 minutes, but I don't know, 43 minutes. Uh, but he was terrific, and he made free throws for us. And, you know, we only got one stop uh, there in, in overtime, and it was just enough. Well, Coach, enjoy this one. I'm sure you will. Congrats on the win.